Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds, another episode, and I just wanted to take this moment to say thanks everyone for watching. You guys really enjoy this episode, I enjoy this game. It's weird, it's, it's, it's somewhat repetitive, but it is really challenging me and I still haven't beaten it, and it drives me crazy. It drives me crazy that I have still no luck. So that's why I'm here. Anyway, in this episode, I'm going to throw in here and there some German whenever I think about it. Because in the last episode, I said if, there, if there's going to be a flood, I, I was betting on it. If there's a flood, you're going to have to share the video. If not, I'm going to have to talk some German. Also werde ich das jetzt tun, hier und da ein bisschen Deutsch reden. Uh, don't be confused if you don't understand what I'm saying. I'm just going to throw in some German sentences. Here and there, people have been asking me to do that. Uh, anyway, since I am, in fact, German, believe it or not. It's crazy, right? Let's come outside. Das Wiesel, Deutsch, wer hätt's gedacht? Kaum zu glauben. Ah, das Wasser. I need the water. Give me the water. Um, well, maybe I could teach you some German. Some, some, some German words. Um, ammunition. That would be Munition. Die Axt. Personally, I think that's a much better, better pronunciation for such an item. X sounds, mm, I don't know, it doesn't sound as sharp as Axt. Axt. I do like the German hard pronunciation here and there. German pronunciation is, uh, or X, I, I don't know what you call that. Oh, no, oh, you gotta be kidding me. The horse was in the way. Das Pferd, das Pferd hat den Weg blockiert. Okay, Timmy, come here, come here, come here. Uh, she's in, oh. Oh, die Tochter, die Tochter, die Tochter. Ich will die Tochter. Ah, if I can't get the daughter, then I'm gonna be a sad weasel. Give me the... Oh, no. So close. Close, but no cigar. Knapp daneben ist auch vorbei, as we say in Germany. Knapp daneben ist auch vorbei. Yeah, the end. The end. Even though they survived. Actually, quite the good loadout here and there, but... Eh, I can I can do better. Let's try this again. I just figured you might as well see me failing. I perished. Ah well. Let's try this again. I'm still gonna go for the normal difficulty. I I'm I'm debating with myself over and over again. Should you try easy? You could you could just start the game with easy and then pretend it was normal, just so you finally beat the game. But no, no, this is not happening. I'm gonna do it the right way or not at all, which is on the. Normal difficulty. It's 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 surprisingly hard. Okay, we're not gonna go for all of this stuff. We're gonna start in the back. Um, I will take my daughter. Um, where's the radio? I think that's over there. I'll grab the gas mask. Thank you very much. So we can start that soonish. Ooh, that's actually a nice collection of items. I will take all of this. Thank you. More water, weasel. More water. That's already a little bit too much food. I feel. Ooh, box spray and this. Very good, very good. <sighs> Wife, my dear. My dear, my dear. Oh, that was more food. I need more water. Wow, who, by the way, who puts the axe in the wall? Like, what benefit does this have? Ooh, I'll take the radio, thank you. Not enough space for my son, though. Okay, come here to me. Not the best layout. No, can't, can't really reach that. Give me that. Give me that. Ah. I think I can do one more successful run. Give me the board game. Give me some water. There was one water. Yeah, not the best run here. Ah, well. Okay. I won't try to get more. I think we got plenty of water. We got plenty of food. We got all the family members. We got a gas mask, a med kit, bug spray. Jo, wunderbar. Wunderschön. Das kann ja nur gut werden. Hoffen wir mal, dass wir dieses Mal überleben. Großartig. Perfect. We don't have playing cards, we don't have an axe, we don't have a rifle. We are pretty much useless. I did a great job here. Great job. Wunderbar gemacht, Wiesel. Wunderbar. This is the best stock, stock shelf that we've ever seen. Bullshit. I don't I don't believe I don't believe you. That's that's a horrible shelter. And you know it. We both know it. Well, we might be able to find a rifle outside, but the whole military thing is a problem. <sighs> All right, so let's see if we can actually survive it with this. There's much going on with Ted. No trouble, nothing new. That's my favorite thing to read. Um, I'm gonna send out Timmy first day. Let's make him sick. Or we just wait a little bit until it's better. Let's wait a little bit until it's better, honestly. Let's wait until the radio says, you can come out now. At least with less items, the chance of a flood or an earthquake is low. 
All right, we should get Mary Jane something to drink. Yes, 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 you'll get water on day five. Nope, not sending anyone out. There's nothing more annoying than silence, and that is that we're getting from the radio. New music, no talking, nothing. Is there anything we can do um, to make it work again? We sure know staring at, staring at it won't help. Okay, this might go so wrong, but I will try it. I mean, the event must have something positive. Okay, it, it didn't break, so did we get something positive from it? Well, we did what we could, but we still can't hear a thing, damn it. At least they didn't break it. Okay, it's day four, still no f water, no food for you guys. No expedition. We might be safe inside these walls, but there are other problems to consider. None of us can sleep properly, we have to deal with this as soon as possible. Otherwise, we may end up falling asleep on the face of real danger. Like Saucer Man from Mars. Yes. No, I'm not gonna waste my medkit on you guys not being able to sleep. Well, everyone's tired, life's hard and unfair, and Ted went crazy. Well, fantastic. Fantastic, I screwed it up. Bravely, I, I think this is the first time like he got crazy so fast that he doesn't even have a full beard yet. He always gets crazy when he has a full beard. Uh, bravely ignoring our symptoms, we try to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck. Okay, time for water. Yeah, Ted's gone crazy. Fantastic. Well, we can make quite a few days without sending anyone out. I can't send no one out. That's great. We we're about to sleep when we heard someone knocking at the door. Who could it be? Who could it be? Yeah, maybe someone who's bringing water. Kind of tends to happen very early in the game if someone knocks. It can be a group bringing water. Nope. 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 They stole water. No, they didn't. It just looked like it because we got this big bottle. This keg. A group of travelers wearing gas masks brought us water as usual. That's so nice. Anyway, everyone's good, everyone's good, and Ted keeps behaving oddly. Let's hope he doesn't run out. I would hate that. Anyway, we can't send anyone, so we might as well live on our food and water reserves. Okay, I think they should be hungry now. It's day seven. Uh, food, 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 food. Actually, to keep track of them is very easy once they are. Oh, Timmy can do it. Timmy can go to the wasteland. No, Timmy. No, Timmy. Later. Later. It's gonna stay in here for a while without anything happening. Feel more comfortable. <sighs> Maybe moving away won't be too bad. I agree. Drink, drink, drink. Well, not today, my my fellows. Oh, actually, look at that. Mary Jane is feeling excellent. Excellent, you say. All right. Let's listen to the radio and hopefully we can hear them. Actually, they look really good. Just dehydrated a little bit. Just Ted is crazy and tired. What can you do? Uh, we made contact. The military is out there and they're coming for us. We just gotta wait patiently. Okay, good. Yes, yes, yes. You'll get water. Don't worry. Not today, though. Tomorrow. All, right, all in good shape. I like this. Let's use the Boy Scout book. It's the first time, actually, that I'm not sending in anyone out before the first 10 days. Usually, I'm always sending someone out right away. But that radiation... Not a good idea. Okay, so I think it's time for water. Here you go, guys. Enjoy. Enjoy. Uh, what was that? A rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats. And what's with the double tail? Ooh, I do not have an axe or anything. Let's hope it doesn't eat too much food. Ah, it killed a can. It ate a can. One can. It got it. All right. So let's see if we can send someone out. I think it's time. Um. That wasn't a message. We still have the radiation, which is quite annoying. So I would prefer to wait. Ah, okay. We're gonna wait. We're gonna keep waiting. Maybe the fall is gonna go in one or two days. Because if we can avoid sickness, that'd be great. Great news. The fall outside has mostly gone. Strike. Fantastic. Okay. Mary Jane says she's fine. Timmy is good. Dolores is fine and well. Okay, Ted tries to hide it, but he obviously has a lot of issues. What if, what if we send Ted out? Honestly, what if we send Ted out? Oh, right, we can't. He's in no condition. Uh, other than that, they don't need anything, so... Might as well prepare an expedition. And see if that does anything for us. Hmm. Day 13, best day. Um, let's send them... I don't think that does anything to put the arrow somewhere, but... They said everything in here has a purpose. So maybe there's something to the map. Maybe there's a hidden spot. 
All right, so they want food, 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 and water. Okay, since we're gonna send Timmy, food and water, and food, food, food. Who should go outside? Timmy should go outside. Good luck, Timmy, you're gonna need it. At least there is no fallout anymore. No. Well, that looks like a very functional family. All right, Timmy went outside. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Probably sit in your bunker. All right, Ted, looks like he got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Um, wait, that was second day without water, so we can... Say, yeah, we can go one more day without water. That's gonna be fine. Here you go, guys. Now, yeah, I can have some water. Because I didn't really count that well, so here you go. Water for everyone. Shine your boots and hoist the flag. The army's on the radio again. They're telling us to get our flashlight ready to signal their aircraft. Ugh. Sorry. Don't, don't have a flashlight. What a shame. What can you do? What can you do? Are those her ribs? Is this like a rib cage? Or is this just lines in the cloth? Which is fine too. The signal has to wait. Besides, do they even know how much flashlight batteries cost? Especially in this economy. Exactly. Good mood. Isn't worried. Isn't acting normally. I hope he gets better. I really do hope he gets better soon. Um, ever since we jumped into our fallout shelter, we've been wondering about that other door. Should we even be here? Where does it lead? It's time to check it out. I don't have... Not a flashlight, not a rifle. Can't do much with it. Hopefully we're not losing anything. Great, Timmy. You broke the... You broke... You broke the mask. Some things are better left untouched and unknown. Yeah, let's let's not check it out. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back. When our expedition noticed planes in the sky, we were afraid more bombs would fall. Instead, supply crates began to drop down. We made sure we got one of the drops. Two soup cans. Neato. A food drop. That's what we needed. Yes, someone forgot to fill the water crate with something to soften the fall. And we got two water. Ooh, we got an axe. We can defend ourselves now. Very good job, Timmy. Very good job. Very good job. Okay, so Timmy should eat something. And that was all. Okay, here you get some food. Good job, Timmy. Good job. Um, we're gonna send Mary Jane, I think, out. Uh, but it seems it become a necessity. We thought it would be a good idea to make this happen sooner rather than later and plan a trip outside before we could make the third step beyond the shelter doors. And our own creature started growling at us. We can only scream at it. We can scream at it, it's gonna be fine. Let's not use the bug spray. Well, Mary Jane has gone cuckoo and it destroyed our map. Fantastic. We felt it was too risky. We did what any sane person would do. We shut the door and the creature was gone the next morning. Oh. Every day Ted has become more and more absent-minded. And since early this morning, he was completely committed to reading a newspaper, or rather something that he seemed to think was a newspaper, or a toilet tissue. He seemed to be very interested in it, so we didn't want to drag him from his reading. He had to answer a call of nature, but he accidentally reached for our map. Oh, okay, that was a thing. All right, water. Mary Jane went nuts. Timmy should eat something. Water is all the Lars wants. All right. Let's give all of them water. Was someone hungry? I forgot. Mm, Timmy was hungry. I didn't, oh, actually, Rest is not hungry. It's just water and Timmy wants food. Okay, that's that's good. So... Wait, Ted doesn't want any food. Oh, he wants water too. Ah, let's do it like this. It's gonna be fine. And we're gonna send the Lores because she isn't crazy yet. I kinda... I'm worried about the other ones sending them out in their state. You know it says they would be fine. I don't believe him. Mary Jane isn't mentally stable. She seems to have lost the ability to reason normally. Timmy should eat something. And Dolores is on her way to the surface. Which reminds me... I should talk Deutsch. Total vergessen. Gar nicht mehr dran gedacht. War so im Spiel drin. Uh, ja, Ted ist hungrig. Und uh, Timmy sollte etwas essen. Kein Problem. Let's la la lasst uns den beiden einfach ein bisschen Suppe geben. Mm -hmm. Okay. Peculiar, it seems the whole shelter has been shaking every couple of minutes. It feels it's like getting stronger every time this happens. All right. Let's save the radio. The radio. Uh, which coincidentally is the same word as radio. Big surprise there, right? All right. Earthquake or not? Yeah, to beeben. Yeah, to beeben. <laughs> actually, I think the German word beeben is actually kind of a cool net word. It's like, you know, quake, beeben. I don't know why I've just thought of that. Nothing is going to stand between us and our daily dose of radiostatic. All right, Mary Jane said could use food. Timmy's good. And even though the world has gone to a crappy place. Okay, Mary Jane here, have some food. 
All right. A woman came by with creatures she claims is a camel, provided the camel has five legs. The animal is carrying a pack of goods for trade. Um, we can get items. Nice. Uh, she offers... Ah, uh, we can get water. I'll, I'll trade in the checkers board. I don't, I'm not too crazy about that. Then again, it might help us with our sanity. I'm not trading. I have too much. I have too much stuff. Sorry, woman. Not interested. The checkers board might help us to keep sane. Even though we are already crazy. Anyway. Uh, water, water, water. We can skip over that for a bit. Let's do something tonight. Something fun. Yeah. Like playing checkers. Perfect. That worked out great. Maybe the craziness is going to go down. Ah. Alles schwachsinnig und bekloppt. Okay, a game of checkers, a cup of coffee, and a newspaper is all a 1950s man needs. No coffee, the paper boy probably got blown up. Yay, checkers. <laughs> Mary Jane keeps fainting. Yes, 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 I know you want water. You're gonna have some tomorrow. I still don't have a flashlight to signal the airplane, which is a shame. It is day 23. Okay, I hope Dolores comes back. Signal is lost, Mary Jane keeps fainting. Okay, yes, you get water now. Here you go. And let's, let's let's look into our book for photos. I don't know what it does, but it might reduce the craziness. Actually, it helped her. Mary Jane is less crazy. Mother is sick, really sick. The photo we were looking for was stuck between the pages of the scout handbook. What a lucky coincidence. Well, the door has come back from safety. It might sound paranoid, but we think someone has followed us. Yeah, let's not go out right now. Six bottles of water. Wow. That's, that's a lot of water. Fantastic. That's actually really good. What a dream job. Um, we got a flashlight and a map. Wow. Mary Jane is no longer crazy. Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young boy. He's just doing fine. Dolores has not eaten. She's came down with a sickness and he, she's really tired. Well, I think I'm gonna give her all of these things. And hopefully that's gonna make her better. Ted seems to be in really good shape for a trip. Nope, we've been followed. I'm not doing that right now. All right. Ooh, Fallout reference, right. You would expect the post apocalypse to be a time of peace and quiet since you know most of the people around aren't anymore. Yet, here we have someone at the door. When we opened it, we encountered a strange looking man in a blue jumpsuit who asked us to trade him for a water chip. A water chip? What the hell is that? That's a Fallout reference. I actually don't really know the story behind it. I gotta look into that. Currently playing through my Fallout 3 again. But, uh, yeah. Vasa. Let's just give him water. We have a lot of it. I don't fully remember if that's a good idea or not. He's looking confused. It's not what he's actually looking for, but he gives us a, ga a gas mask. We explained politely that we didn't have any water chip, but we're happy to share some water with him. The man was visibly disappointed, but thanked us for the water and even left us his gas mask. Nice. May Jane seems fine today. Hopefully we'll stay that way. Timmy's hungry. Dolores would really love to eat something. So Timmy and Dolores are hungry. Actually, yeah, that's, that's, that's really nice. I'm going to send out Ted. He's doing great. We're about to finish our dinner, if you can call it, when we heard someone knocking on the door. It seems a trader who's interested in ammunition. I do not have ammunition, so I'm not going to give him the checkers board. Usually ends him in just, him just taking the checkers board. That's super odd. We don't get anything in return. He was disappointed. Whatever. Mary wants food. And uh, Watcher. Dolores wants food. And Ted is hungry. Okay, so everyone except Jane, right? Jane wasn't hungry. Oh, actually. Except Timmy. Here you go. Who should go outside? Ted should go outside. He's a crazy guy. I can't seem to cure him, but he might come back. At least we got still an adult who's just tired. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We need to give her water. Yes, yes, yes. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Dolores would really like to eat something. Here you go. We could use a little bit more food. Timmy got back to the shelter from his expedition and looked fine, but it turned out the head hurt his hand on a piece of rusty metal. Ugh, we have to patch it. I'm not gonna... Sorry, Timmy. You're gonna have to be sick. I need that axe to defend myself against the potential raiders. Oh, well, he's still not sick, so... Might be fine. <sighs> the best medicine for any sickness or injury is to clench your teeth and ignore it. Was dich nicht umbringt, macht dich hart. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Yes, yes, yes. You can now have water. Here you go, guys. You have plenty of water, though. This is insane. We keep finding spiders everywhere. There are no soup. There are no water. We swear some of them keep coming back and they're even bigger. Well, let's use the Boy Scout book to deal with the situation. Best book ever. Best book ever. Actually, 
Yeah, see here they use the book to maraud spiders. Few precise hits and suddenly every spider is aware of what the word decimation means. We also found a misplaced soup can. Yay! That's good, we need food. Um, Unpredictable, fatigued, but nobody wants anything, so... Ooh. The army's on the radio again, let's flash for the aircraft. Finally, we have the flashlight that we got earlier. Now we can signal for the aircraft. Okay, so Ted is still crazy and tired and hungry. What can you do? We might have been followed. If you're desperate enough or have peculiar dietary needs, any place can be interesting enough to look for supplies. For instance, garbage cans. One of our please. Okay, we got one can of soup. A rifle! Oh, that pacifist guy from around the corner threw out his rifle. It's ours now. I wonder if it still works. Yes! I'm okay with the gas mask being broken. Whatever. That's fine. Um, so. Mm, I think only Ted is hungry. That's all, all he is. Here you go. Mary Jane is feeling excellent. Eh, I'm not gonna send out N1 in right now. Let's listen to the radio. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, what happened to Ted? Oh, we lost Ted, didn't we? We lost Ted. Ted could not resist the madness that was consuming him any longer. It seems that today, following the advice of his sock puppet, he left the bunker. Ah, well. How fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. They still play music out there. Uh, water. Timmy wants food. And Timmy was driven insane. That's great. Here's food. I'm not gonna send out anyone right now. Too, too, too risky. Uh, great, everyone's crazy. Uh, the whole bunker's cuckoo. Poor, poor Teddy. You killed Teddy, Timmy. Why would you do that? Dolores has really lost it. Today we caught her red-handed gorging on our supplies. Damn it. Well, at least she's not hungry anymore. Mary Jane is hungry. And water. Water tomorrow. Here's some food, Mary Jane. And I think I'm gonna send Mary Jane out to scavenge. If we care about the future of our kids, we need to start homeschooling Timmy. Or maybe shelter schooling is the right choice. We need to provide him with some reading material as soon as possible. Let's use the Boy Scout book. I kind of feel that a soup can, uh, a poison can is not the best thing. And check this isn't really education, is it? Ah, uh, well. Timmy, the only book we have with us is the Scout Handbook, but it's more than enough to get Timmy reading. Actually, that's a great book to teach someone in a, sh you know, apocalypse shelter. All right, so uh, I forgot. Let's just give him water. And Dolores wants food. Your food and water for everyone. Um, fantastic. So who should go outside? This is a good day to go outside, stretch a bit, get some fresh toxic air, maybe scavenge a thing or two. Yeah, let's send let's send Mary Jane. She's cuckoo, I know, but maybe that's gonna help her out. And if not, well, then she's gone. It happens. Timmy seems okay. Today has been a fine day for Dolores. Good, good, good. Oh, perfect. All right, so we can... Ex two cans for the gas mask. I don't have a gas mask. For water for... Damn it. Just water. I can just get water. I wish I could get... I'm not gonna give up my rifle. If it's not food, I'm not gonna give it up. For my four cans of food, I would have given up my rifle. Yes. Absolutely. Well, nothing new, nothing new going on. Hopefully, Mary Jane comes back with all the food. I want all the food. So... What we make of today will be our tomorrow, so let's make it right. Some water for Timmy would be nice. Loris will not last long without water. Well, we can dare go a day without. The military is communicating. Okay, let's chop down some trees. Um... 37. We chopped down as many trees. Oh, we lost the axe. Well, I hope it helps. Timmy is very hungry. Timmy is in a terrible shape. He needs water now. And she will not survive without water any longer. I think that's day two without water. Since we have so much, I'm not gonna risk miscounting. Our first aid kit is of no use. Well, let's use the bug spray and make some first aid kit. That's great. I love that mechanic. Not that we can use it right now, but... Ah, oh, well. Timmy is very hungry. Well, Timmy... Here's some food. And um, we could send Timmy. You know what? I'm gonna send Timmy. Screw it. It's gonna be fine. She isn't crazy, is she? Oh, she's crazy. Uh, I'm worried sending him. She isn't doing very well. Her sanity is very questionable. But if she goes crazy and runs out, she's gonna be gone. That's just what happens. 
and then we lose anyway. Timmy is on his best behavior. Okay, okay. So let's send Timmy, and hopefully he brings back food, because that is something we don't have anymore. You can do this, Dolores. You can do this. All right, water and food for Dolores. Keep her well fed. Keep her well hydrated. The craziness will go away. That's how it happens, right? If you give, if you, if you give her water and food, you're not gonna be verrückt anymore. Okay, so. Alright, everyone's quite calm. We have a working radio. Let's listen to the broadcast. I don't think we're gonna hear the radio again. Uh, the, the, the military again. So, Dolores isn't very well. I know, I know. All hands on deck. There are people on the other side of the door. Ugh, I'm worried about f Timmy now. Well, let's use the rifle. Timmy's back, actually. Ooh, he did not get caught by them. Nice. And he did bring back poison. Great, Timmy. Great, Timmy. All right. So he's back. Our house in ruins. We did find two water and one poison. Box spray, that is. All right. So Timmy's hungry, I assume. Yeah, Timmy should eat and is tired. All right, water. Great, we have. All right, I'm gonna send Dolores to deal with the uh, to send to the military. That was the um event where you sent him to the military. I think I have to feed her. We made it to the meeting. The serious-looking soldier asks us a few questions. All right, Sunday best. Uh, we can only hope we made a good impression. Too bad our Sunday best didn't make it through the explosion. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely. Timmy's very hungry, he prefers apple juice, but right now he needs some water. Timmy, here's the thing. Okay, let's 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 send let's send Dolores out. There's a supply damage thing. Did we lose? No. She's just sent out. She might come back soon. The tank was equipped with protective gear, including a spear gas mask. Now it's ours. We were glad to see Dolores come back. This was our... Oh, no. She could no longer contain her insanity. We found a fort note in which she explained that she's setting out to find her father, and it's a dream to follow in his footsteps and do something for good for the people. Well, she got crazy again. That's my biggest problem when they go crazy. Ah, oh, well. <sighs> Eventually, we're going to make it. I... I I don't know. Ich habe mein Bestes versucht. Mein Bestes war nicht gut genug. Vielleicht nächstes Mal. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. I really appreciate you guys sticking with me. We can do this. We can survive the post-apocalypse on a normal difficulty. I feel I just have incredibly bad luck and everyone else is just lucky and makes the game. Because I spent like 10 hours on this now didn't survive once. It's crazy, right? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out. I hope to see you around. Auf Wiedersehen!